guys, my name is KD and welcome back to my channel, Life as KD. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a sheet in haul. Um, so if you like watching haul videos, then keep on watching. Okay, so guys, I got this shirt which I thought originally it was black and white stripe and orange um, but it's actually navy uh, it looked black online but in person it's actually a really dark navy um, I do like it this does run big I got this in a 3XL um, because this was like my first time ordering from Shein I was not sure of sizes so you'll see throughout this video that I got sizes from 0XL 1XL, 2XL, 3XL, I literally tried all sizes depending on what the item was and how I wanted it to fit. As well as, you guys know I'm on a weight loss journey to um, lose 86 pounds. Um, I'm currently 50 pounds down. So, I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so I got this in the 3XL. I wanted the shirt to be oversized so I can tuck it in jeans, pants, which you can use to run errands. Really nice. These are like the knockoff to the Fabletics. I got this in the 2XL, and I would say they fit pretty good. Um, they have stretch. They are a little um, see-through. I could have sized down in these because they are very stretchy. However, if I did get a 1X, um, I will always have to wear something that covers my butt because it will be extremely see-through. Because like I told you, it's a 2X and it's, my butt is see-through right now. Um, so, that's a con. So, to match um, the little workout leggings, I got this cute little sports bra to match. Um, I did get the sports bra as well in a 2XL. Um, the sports bra is really cute. I do like it, but I have to wear a bra underneath um, because it has no support. Um, I got the 2XL because oftentimes I have issues with sports bras. My boobs um, were fairly large. As I'm losing weight, of course, my boobs are losing volume. Um, normally, I'm a size 38H. Um, my old bras are getting too big. So, on a normal basis, now I'm wearing like my old bras with a sports bra on top for support. So, yeah. This by itself is not good. I will always have to wear a bra under it, um, but it is cute. I do like it. I will rock it. Maybe not with this bra. I will probably wear a strapless bra, but yeah, it's a look. Okay. Um, due to COVID, I have been getting into more loungewear, so I also picked up... It's like leggings, but I would say... It's more like of like the joggery, nitty type material. I would use this to like lounge, lounge around the house when you want to be cute, a little put together and not stay in your pajamas all day. I got this in a 2XL. Extremely comfortable. I could have sized down to a 1X because as you can see, um, it is really stretchy. Um, but I don't mind the fit of this at all. This is something I'll jump on my bean bag, sit in my recliner, and be good. Um... I saw this shirt and I love it. It says happy wife, happy life. Um, I got this shirt as well in a 3XL. Um, I don't have a lot of oversized shirts. I used to always feel like oversized shirts make plus size women look frumpy. Um, and I felt it's because I didn't know how to style it maybe. But I have been feeling the oversized shirts. You know, once you do the little tuck thing. So, if, you know, if I was wearing jeans, you know, you do a little tuck. You know how to tuck it right. It automatically like... The cinches in this area so it don't look just so wide and frumpy but anywho I like my shirts to be tied so this is something that I would tie and I wore this shirt already and washed it so I can say it washed well the letters did not peel off so struggling with these nails to try to try this so yeah I would tie this wear this with some jeans in the summer throw on my bands or something like that um, yeah, love the shirt. It washed well. The letters are intact. I dried it. I didn't treat this shirt no different. It's good. I will say so far, um, what I have noticed since ordering from Shein, their shirts 
when they say it's oversized, it's oversized. So if you don't want your shirt to be oversized, order your natural size. I should have ordered this in a 2X or I could have even went down to a 1X. Because I feel like a 2X still would have been um, big. Okay guys, so as you can see, I got this color block sweater and I have been going a little color block crazy. Uh, I got a few color block pieces that you guys are going to see come up. I got this sweater in a size 1X. Um, so as you can see, she in sizes um, is a little inconsistent. However, I would say their sizes run um, slightly larger than smaller, in my opinion. Um, I know there's going to be differences to that based on how your body is shaped. But based on me, I would say I was able to fit in basically from an extra large to a 3XL. And currently, um, if you guys know, I'm 5'5 and weigh about 220 pounds. So, yeah. Um, so, this is a 1X. I love the way it fit. I don't feel like it fit tight. I don't feel like it's stuffy. I still have room. I love this. Um, I would say this is one of my favorite pieces. I got from them. I'm loving she in. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Is this something you would wear? Is it too abstract for you? Let me know in the comments below. Don't judge me. I'm being a little ghetto fabulous. I told you guys since I've been losing weight, my strapless bras do not fit. So my boobs are not perked right now. I do I did just tuck my bra straps down. However, I love this top. I love this. Um, I got this in a size 2XL. Um, I say this top run big. Like look how much room. I would even say this part run big for a 2XL. I was contemplating on getting a 3XL. And the only reason why I didn't is because I knew I was losing weight. Um, and it's not because I thought. I knew the material was stretchy. But I knew my boobs was big and I didn't want, like, this is not cute. Like, if it was to fit like this and part of your stuff is hanging out at the bottom, that's not cute. That would be ill-fitting. I wanted to make sure this piece can cover my whole boob area, and it does. And the more I continue to lose weight by springtime, this is going to look like everything on me, sweetie. Like, I can't wait. I love this. This is one of my faves, too. Like, can you imagine with some white jeans, pointed toe heels, honey? Nice clutch back. Come on, shoulders. Put a little sparkly stuff on your collarbone. Mine's is coming through. Don't hate. Mm. This is another top I got. I got this for the springtime. Um, I thought it was interesting. I love the exposed um, stitching. It looked like this is supposed to be like the inside of the shirt. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know. I was just drawn to it. Um, I got this in a 1XL. So, if I was getting this for my current body right now, I would have sized up to a 2X. Because I know I have approximately 35-ish more pounds to lose, I got this in a 1X. Because by next spring, this should be fitting me perfectly. Um, it doesn't fit horrible. I was able to get it on and it, you know, I'm able to move. However, um, if I was not planning on losing any weight, I would feel uncomfortable wearing this outside like this. That if I lift my arms, is a possibility my bra may get exposed. I don't like that. Um, I like to feel, um, secure in my clothing. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing something and I can't move in it because something's going to fall out. Um, Yeah. But I love the shirt. It is in a size 1X. This is not my current body size. But when I'm 35 pounds lighter, this, this is going to be it. I like it. I like that it's also cut at a triangle right here. I thought that's pretty interesting as well. I have another crop top for you. Um, this is in black. I really love the detail of this one. Um, it looks kind of like corsetish. Uh, it hugs the shape of your boobs. Well, it outlines the shape of your boobs. I like that. I like that the sleeves, uh, sleeves. What is that? I like that the sleeves are nice and roomy. Um, 
you can wear this relaxed with some joggers. They did have joggers on this site that um, not necessarily match it, but they paired it with it. Like it was recommended to buy them together. However, I didn't. That's not the vision I had uh, to wear with this uh, sweater. But I do love it. I got this in a size 3 XL. And I was going to get a 2 XL. Um, but the reason I got this in a 3 XL is because I read the reviews. And some people was like, oh, if you have big boobs, it, it, it runs small. If you don't, pick your size. Um, I know my boobs uh, are pretty large. So I don't like to wear crop tops unless I know my boob area can be covered. I like to be able to raise my hand and the shirt either stays in place or if the shirt do rises, my bra is not exposed. If my bra is exposed, I won't buy the shirt. I got another crop top. Yeah, I know I'm pushing out of my comfort zone. Um, crop tops never really was my thing. Um, I was more of, if I did wear a crop top, I would wear a blazer over it to give me more coverage. But now I'm like, I wear what the fuck I want, okay? Um, so I love this. I got this in a size 3XL as well. Um, and I really didn't need to. Um, this is extremely stretchy. I... I don't think I paid attention to the material. I think I just saw the model wearing it and I was like, that is cute. But um, yeah, this is like basically a rib knit. I could have sized down um, and then maybe I could have just wore like the boob sticky tape and wouldn't have to wear a bra. But um, yeah, this is cute. You could still throw a blazer over this. Uh, you could wear this under something else that's more exposed. I could layer it. I could wear um, a long button uh, can I talk today or not? I could wear a long button up underneath it and style this on top to cinch in my waist and do that whole look that's going on now that's very trendy. But this is a nice staple piece to have in your closet. You can style this so many different ways. Her two neck for me. Okay? I love this. This is just giving me bougie auntie vibes. Okay? This is it. So this is a, a crop turtleneck. This is more of a longer crop. It hits like my belly button is right here. And this hits, I would say, about an inch uh, above my belly button. Very comfortable. This is very well made. Guys, I got this during the Black Friday sale for 17 cents. Do you understand? They had like some buy one, get one crazy. So I bought something else that was more expensive. And they and I put this in my cart, which was I think 20 something dollars. But they discounted it down to 17 cents. This is worth it. This is worth $30. Uh, this is well made. Stitching. The knit. The way it feels. It doesn't feel itchy. I love this. Um, this is amazing. I can't wait to wear it. With some over the knee boots. You can even wear. I can even wear this with my cowboy boots. And my cowboy hat. And get real country. The sleeves is just. Come on. Do you see it? Do you see it? Ooh, I get excited when I see clothes. Do you like it? Let me know. If you made it this far in the video. Go ahead. And leave me. Uh. A Jamaican flag emoji. Ha! I knew y'all thought I was going to say something about shopping. But no. Because people expect that. So if you're watching this video. And you made it to this point. Leave me a Jamaican flag in the in the uh, comments down below. Thank you. This look is giving me real western vibe. Like. Giddy up. <laughs> I would not wear this together. Let's be clear. However. I think this shirt is very cute and unique and different. I thought this pants was a little bit out of my comfort zone. It was very cute. I love the little tassels. Um, I would see myself wearing this with some nice heels. Um, however, I don't buy clothes when I'm shopping in the hall for it to match automatically. I get it to pair with pieces in my closet sometimes if I fall in love with a piece. Okay, so let's start with this top. I did get this top in a 3XL. I got it in a 3XL because according to the material on the site, it said it had no stretch. 
in which they are correct. This does not stretch. However, I usually have a problem with button up shirts and all my plus size and girls that got a little voluptuous in the boobs know these buttons be pulling like this. I, I, I don't like that. I be like, baby girl, what's going on? Yeah, I don't like my shirts to do that. It makes me very uncomfortable. Like, even with double stick tape, like it still be like stretching. It's like it's screaming for help. So I rather size up. Um, you know, if you guys don't know, my mother-in-law is a designer and a seamstress. So my model is I rather get things bigger because I can always get it taken in. If it's smaller, you know, it just ain't gonna fit. But if it's bigger, you can get it to fit. Um, but this shirt is cute. Um, because it's oversized, I can do that match match look where the girls have the shirts like off the shoulders or off like that, the shoulders that way. Um, because I'm looking in my mirror now, guys. Because this is at a point, to me, it makes it really easy. And these pants come up real high. But if this was jeans, my jeans would not come up that high. Imagine if this was jeans. You tuck it in. Give yourself some body. You know, with a nice belt. Whoop. Gather this up in the back for you. And to me, this is a look. I may need to, like, as I lose weight, take a couple inches off here. Take a couple inches off here, but overall, I love this shirt, and um, I can see myself going places with this shirt. I know a lot of times when you get trendy pieces or affordable pieces, people do not like to do any type of alterations. However, as a plus size woman, you have to, if you want your clothes to fit good and look good. I was often told that I never looked how much I weighed. At my heaviest weight, guys, I was 200 and 77 pounds but I always dress for my size very well um, and I feel like that I feel like I dress for my size well because I bought some some things bigger and got them taken in and you know I'm not blind I can physically look in the mirror and see what don't look good on me and if it don't look good on me you know you give it to a friend you return it or whatever now, these pants, and mind you, I'm trying all these clothes on with no shapewear. So if I had shapewear, this stomach would be on flat, flat. But when I get to my goal weight of 190, I won't have to worry about shapewear no more. I'm praying to God because I, I really don't want to get any lower than 190. Um, so these pants now, mind you, is in a size 0XL. I am not sure what 0XL mean with she in. Like, is that an extra large? Is it between the extra large and 1X? Because they also have on their site in some of their clothes that it says just XL. So what is the difference between the regular XL and the 0XL? I don't know, but these pants are in a 0XL. I love them. They are very stretchy. Uh, I would suggest you size down. Look how far I can pull these pants up. Hold on. Like, I could damn near pull it up to my sports bra. Look, like, these pants are stretchy. I love them. They're worth it. Very cute. They're different. Go get you some. If you broke, go to... Uh, this that skirt that make you feel like you could twerk. You see it go, cool. You don't got to even do much. And it just be like, pop. Okay. Okay, guys, I told you I was feeling the color block. I got this color block cardigan. I got this in a size 2XL, and I feel like this fits true to size. I don't like my cardigans to be fitted. I feel like oversized cardigans. That's just where it's at. That's my, we here. I like oversized cardigans. This is my thing. So even when I lose weight, I'm still going to wear it. That's just what it is. So yeah, the cardigan's in the 2XL. I got this skirt in the 1X. And my husband is behind the camera. Shout out to Chris. Whoop whoop. When I first got this skirt, I could barely zip it. But um, at that time, I was hmm, about uh, a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. And I was about 237 going back to 240 I was just kept on fluctuating but it damn near zipped up today guys look at that I got like about an inch left to go 
So, I feel like once I get to my gold weight, this is going to look very cute. I love this. Um, I got this skirt in a 1X. So, I wouldn't wear this together, of course. I just got to say it. But I love this skirt. I love this. Just not together. This is not a look. Guys, this ring light hot as shit. Jesus. I'm dying out here. Help me, Lord. Okay, so I told you I was feeling the color block and all that and all that. Okay, so this is another color block shirt. So it is a full shirt. It is long. It reminds me like the old school men's shirt back from the 90s. Will Smith and all them type of vibes. I'm digging it. I love it. Um, Yeah. Love this shirt. I got this in a size 3XL. And look, prime example. You guys remember that weird western shirt? That was a button up that was asymmetrical that I got in a 3XL. Look how big it was. I also got this in a 3XL. And although it buttons, I'm just being lazy. I don't feel like buttoning it. It buttons completely. The buttons do not pull. But look how this one. I still have room in the arms. But look how it's not as oversized as the other one. That's why it's very important to pay attention to the material. Most importantly, know your body and what's going to look good and how certain materials react with your body. This as well has zero stretch. It's like a corduroy material. I love it. I bought it to wear it more tied up. Um, I will wear it similar to this, not with these leggings though. I'm just checking myself out in the mirror. I would tie it, button a couple of these buttons and wear it with like um, a sports bra. I think that's cute. Or if I want to do another look, of course, I can button it up, tuck one side in. You can style it so many different ways. I love this shirt. Um, I got these wannabe leather leggings. I always wanted to try them, but I, I was like, eh. Do I love them? No. Do I hate them? Nope. I'm like, in between. I don't like this sound. I'm plus size. Y'all know them inner thighs rub together. I will only wear these at night. I would not wear these during the day. It would make too much noise. I will, <laughs> I will wear these at night if I'm going to a dinner or to a lounge and I'm wearing a more revealing shirt. I will wear these then because I'm doing less walking. I would not wear these out and about during the day. I'm a big girl. My thighs rub together. I don't like the sound. Okay. This is a look. These are in the size zero. XL. I said about that color block though. Don't come for me in the comments. I don't know what's going on. I just been feeling the color. I've been feeling the vibes. I think cause 2020 been so dark. I needed to bring the color back up in my life. I don't know. But color block is where it is. And I got some sneakers that this would look fire with. So this is where it's at. I can't wait till the springtime. This is a complex, easy. Throw these on with some blue jeans. I got some bomb sneakers, like I said, that this would look cool with. Could wear a plain white uh, V-neck t-shirt under there. A look. Nice, simple beat, nude look, glossy look, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But I love this sweater. And you got this the same pants like last time. I just needed to keep it on to show this. What y'all think? Are y'all feeling the color block vibes? Or am I doing too much? Be honest, we we goodies over here. So let me know if I went a little bit too color block crazy. And I ain't done yet. I got a few more pieces, but I'm almost to the end. In the comments, let me know what your favorite piece is. Y'all know I'm going to hook y'all up. I'm going to leave the links to everything that I showed you guys in this haul. I'm going to leave it in the description box below. If, let me back it up. If it is available. If it's not available, the link won't be there. If it is available, I will drop the link. But, yeah. I'm feeling myself. And purple and pink is my favorite color. So, y'all see this? Okay, this was made for me. So, guys, another fine example a Shein oversized tees 
being extremely oversized. Now, my other shirts were in the 3X and they fit the exact same way as this one. And this is in the size 1X. So, there you have it. I, I don't know what to tell you about what, what size shirts to get for Shein because it's inconsistent. You know? This a look though. Tuck it in. You know what I'm feeling like. My little tomboy vibes. I love the shirt. I love the graphic vibes. I'm just saying if you're not an oversized shirt type of person, you got to be cautious of the size that you get in the tops because it could look like a dress for crying out loud if you ain't too careful. You know, I got the 3X in a couple. I got the 1X. And to me, they both fit the exact same way. Okay? Uh, my pants is also a 1X. I will not wear this together. This is not a look in my book. But, uh, there's too much purple. Purple one, Purple is one of my favorite colors, but this is too much purple on together for me, personally. But, uh, I do love the way the joggers fit. It is not the cotton material. This feels like... You know, like Adidas tracksuit material? That's what this feels like. What's that? Polyester? I don't know. But it feels like that. Um, very comfortable. I would say the pants fit true to size. Like a regular, like a jogger. Supposed to fit. Um, the shirt, like I said, oversized. For me for right now, this is, yet again, another color block. Uh, I got this long line color block cardigan. I really love it. Um, I got this in a 1XL. I would say this run what? True to size, a little big? I don't know. And to me, I still feel like I have to wear a 2X. Maybe I am closer to the 1X size now, but um, I like the fit. I like this. Overall, this gives me Easter vibes. Let me... Don't just look like Easter colors right here. Just give me Easter vibes. It made me happy when I saw it, so I bought it. Um, underneath here, let me look in the mirror. Don't mind. This is supposed to be sexy. I got the little fake silk. But I'm um, listening to them reviewers on uh, Shein. Okay, I got this in a 4XL. I should have sized down. It's too big, period. So instead of wearing this sexy, this is a no. However, this is cute though. I will rebuy this in my size. I love that this whole thing is out. So could you imagine you wear this with no underwears underneath to give the little peekaboo, peekaboo thing going on? Um, I really like that. Uh, this is spaghetti strap. I like that. It have like a, I'm looking in the mirror again, guys. They have this little um, elastic that scrunch up at your waist. So, I would, you know, if this was my side, I, I, I would scrunch it up like that to show a little bit of skin to not look so grandma-ish. But at this point, I don't really love the fit of this. It's not sexy. This is something I would sleep in every night. Okay. But this can be cute if you get it in your right size. Okay? They let me down in the, in the comment section on Shein with this one. They said it was... It ran small to order up. Somebody even said order two sizes up. So I went from a 2X to a 4X. And I'm out here looking like somebody grandmother trying to get her groove back. Mm-mm, this ain't it. Guys, I did get some lingerie from Shein too. However, this is the only piece I can show. Everything else is a little bit, it's too much going on. The other pieces I got, I do love them. Everything fit with the other things I got except for one piece. But I'm not surprised because I did get that piece in the 1XL. Because I didn't want to get all my lingerie in my current size. And when I lose weight, then what happened? I'm going to have to like... I ain't going to have nothing to wear for my man. So, uh, I got this. This is like, you know, that faux leather. Don't mind my stomach. Don't worry. Soon it's going to be like. But this is really cute. I like it. The sides. Imagine this. I got underwears on, of course. But, you know, you will wear this with no underwears. 
um, and no bra. So I like this exposure. Uh, in the back, my butt cheeks is out, so I'm not turning around. But um, this is very cute, very sexy. I like it. Uh, I would recommend Shein for lingerie. Uh, just be mindful of the sizing. Um, if something stretches, you can size down. If something don't stretch, size up. That's what I would say with the lingerie. I would say the lingerie is more spot on with sizing like with traditional lingerie. Um, this is very cute. I got this in a 2XL. And the reason I got this in a 2XL because I got something else from them that was like this faux leather in a 1XL. And baby, I look like a stuffed sausage, okay? Stuffed. Like Chris was trying to zip me up in it and I nearly passed out of exhaustion. So yeah, I, I done just sized up on this one. But but I like it though. This is cute. This is giving me thick thighs, save lives, baby girl. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, I am going to keep this on for a little bit. I did get a couple scars that I want to show you guys. And nothing fancy, I'm just going to throw it around my neck and that's going to be that. So this is scarf number one. I really love it. Uh, it gave me like a different vibe to like that little cheetah print style. It's like mustard, browns, black, taupe, tan. I love this. So much ways you can style this. I know a lot of people think it's all about the clothes and the handbags. And I love fashion, okay? And it's not about how much money you spend on your clothes. It's how you put your clothes together. I love high-end and low-end. You'll see me Fendi, Louis, whatever. You'll also see me in Target, Rainbow, and Walmart. I, I don't discriminate. Um, but ladies, do not forget about accessories. You need scarves and hats, especially in the winter and the spring. It just elevate and fall too. Fall, winter, spring. Accessories like this elevate your outfit. It, it's a must. This is everything to me. Just like, ugh, could you imagine this with like a red lip? Like, baby. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know I was feeling the color block vibes. Y'all know I had to get me a little colorful scarf and whatever. I love this. It have like a teal, a pink, green, blue, white, yellow, purple. And this is everything. This is if you want to bring a little pop of color during these dark times. Like me, if I'm running out and I don't feel like getting dressed and you want to wear all black or like a gray sweatsuit, you could throw this on. It's going to take your look to another level. Or if it's so cold outside that the people is just going to be seeing your jeans and your shoes and underneath you could have a bleached up on shirt and your jacket on but ain't nobody going to see that. You throw this scarf on, honey. You look like a million bucks. Like, talk to me. This is it. Come on. I got this little brownie color. Uh, you could kind of style this with the same stuff I styled the other print with. Um, but this just spoke to me. I love it. It's more like on the olive sign of brown. And this was just... This was me right here. I got some olive uh, sock booties that I will wear this with. Even though this is like an olivey brown, it will coordinate well with a nice dress. So simple. This is this is it. You can wear this with a nice plain bodycon dress. And this is going to make the dress like be taken to the next level. I love this. I love you guys. Thank all my KD cuties for sticking with me. And watching this video. If you love horror videos, then stay tuned because not only did she in, I am um, batch filling today. So if you see this hair and makeup and these socks again, don't come for me. It ain't the, it is the same day because I'm going to be filming a boohoo vi video right after this. Um, and I hope you guys stick tuned to stay tuned to see it. I can't talk today, as you guys know. Um, but I enjoy making these fashion videos for you guys. I enjoy haul videos. I know how it is to be a plus size woman and don't think because I'm losing weight I don't love myself. I love myself how I am. I've always been confident and I always go up and down with my weight. I'm beautiful big. I'm beautiful small. It, it's really just a food book for me to be honest. If the food book can go away, 
it, that's really the problem here. No, <laughs> all jokes aside, I thank you guys. Uh, I know how important it is to uh, be represented, um, to be represented online. The importance of it. It's very important for um, you to see yourself and someone else and help you buy clothes. Before I started YouTube, I would go watch some of my favorites. Uh, like the corner of white, Nitra B, um, Lace and Leopard, Curves, Curves and something, I can't remember right now, um, Latoya, um, it's so much more people that I watch that are plus size women that have inspired me not only to make my channel but own the skin that I am. I used to watch Passion Jones. Um, yeah, so this is me. I tried to I tried to close on with no body shape. I just have on uh, a slight control panty. Um, and to me, I call those granny panties. These are my granny panties. Mine's don't sag down. They're just a little bit close to my skin. Uh, to my skin. Um, but I have nothing to suck me in, um, which is more accurate for the buyer. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yes, goody. Until next time.